Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here as always. My name is Glory Olamide. I am a life, relationship and marriage coach. I am a certified coach and what I do is I specialize in resolving conflict that may arise in relationships, any type of relationship, be it you're single, you're not sure what the problem is, what's limiting you from finding a partner or to married couples who have been married even for the shortest time or the longest time and have conflicts that need to be resolved. That's what I do. So I work as a life relationship and marriage coach to help resolve conflict that may arise. Why do I do that? Because it is important to have relationships where you are at peace, you are happy, you are thriving and not striving. On social media this week, I have been talking about what many would consider as a deal breaker. Okay, you may have experienced it yourself in the past or you are experiencing it now. What's this deal breaker? You may wonder, what's this thing that is a deal breaker? Before I tell you what it is, what would you say is a deal breaker for you in any relationship, not only in intimate relationships, any type of relationship, what would you consider as a deal breaker? Put it in the comment section. Let me hear your thoughts on this. What would you consider as a deal breaker? Because what you consider as a deal breaker may be different from what I consider as a deal breaker. Well, today's topic that I consider as a deal breaker is on trust. Yes, trust. <laughs> In any type of relationship, if there is no trust, then the foundation is faulty. Why is trust important? You want to know that you can confide in someone. What's the essence of a relationship? You may as well be on a TV channel or even on YouTube and announce your secrets to the whole world. If there's no, that's, that, that happens when there's no relationship. You can just talk like I'm doing now, broadcasting my topic. I may as well just talk to everyone in the world about personal things. This is the essence of a relationship. You have a relationship because you have someone you can confide in, someone you feel you can trust, you can hold accountable and they can hold you accountable as well. That's the essence of relationships. Otherwise, there's no point of having that relationship. That's why I consider trust, the break, you know, trust as something that is essential. And one, once it is broken, it's difficult to, to get it back with the same person. It's difficult, but it's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's a long road, right? It is a long road. It's something that can be overcome with the right counsel, with time. You can overcome it and have that trust back again. To get that trust back again, both people have to be committed and say, okay, I'm sorry. I acknowledge my faults, that's not going to happen again, right? And then you have a new um, foundation to work on and build upon, okay? I'm going to give an example of two different couples, okay? Couple A, this man and woman, they made plans for each other. They made plans for themselves, each other and the family, okay? and they never broke the trust. The man or the woman never called anyone else to say, this is what we are planning in my home, this is what we are going to do, and all of that. No, they worked together. Before any decision is made, they agreed. If they were to involve anyone, maybe in their plans, because you know, oftentimes to execute your plans, you need other people anyway. Maybe you want to build a house, you need to get a contractor, you need to get, you know, surveyors, different um, skill level to help you because you may have these plans, but you can't carry it all out by yourselves. <laughs> you still need to involve people. However, 
they always agreed at every step of the way and what stage they were going to start, at what stage they were going to involve anyone else. So things worked so well for them and they achieved a lot of things. They achieved so much, even from a very young age because they got married early, they achieved so much because they were on the same page. Now let's move over to couple B. This couple, they discuss things in their home and everything. And before you know it, the man takes the phone and calls people. When, they are, when he's on the phone with anyone even, maybe they call him or he calls him and say, oh, oh, by the way, this is what we are planning to do. We are going to be at so and so place. We are going to do this. We are going to do that. Maybe the wife is even sick. He calls, oh, I've just taken her to the hospital. Oh, yes, she has this, she has that. And then when she gets better, she sees these people. They're like, oh, sorry, oh, we heard you went to the hospital for fibroid. And she's like, why all the detail? How come, you know, in her mind, she's wondering, how did they know? The husband has told everyone. You know, even people who don't live in their home, who don't even live around them, know what's going on. In my opinion, they may as well get them a sofa, get all these people a sofa, nice comfortable sofa in their home, get them popcorn, let them eat and watch as if they are watching, a, they are in the cinema, they're watching a movie. You may as well do that. Trust is broken. Now she feels, What's she going to say that would not be told to others? If this intimate, private conversation can be, you know, exposed, what's she going to say next? What can she say? And then you start, <clears throat> excuse me, you start to feel limited communication. You don't have that free communication anymore. That's not good. That's not a good thriving relationship. So this is a new year, 2021. If we, if anyone is guilty of doing, you know, exposing what you discuss in your home, this is the time to resolve and say, I'm not going to do that anymore. It's a new year. You can still bring that relationship back to where you desire, where you, where you really want it to be. You want to have a close, intimate relationship. You don't want to be you know, people to become wary of you because nobody knows what you're going to expose. Maybe your spouse has faults. All your relatives know about their faults. How do you want them to respect him or her? We need to learn to cover for each other, cover one another up, okay? We need to, it's time for us to learn to be wise, you know, honor, each other. It doesn't even have to be intimate relationships only, any type of relationship, be it friends, family. You want to be that person that they trust, somebody that anybody can rely on, somebody that anybody can confide in and know that, yes, what they've told you will remain with you. Have we heard about the Chinese, um, Chinese, whisp the Chinese whisperer? the Chinese whisper. Yes, when there's the line and then you tell the first person on the line something and tell them to repeat what you've told them to the next person and the next person, it just goes on and on. You'll be surprised. I'm sure you've seen, some of you may have seen that already. You know, you've experienced it. By the time what you've said gets to the last person, maybe the 20th person on the queue, on the line, the message you told the first person has changed. Sometimes the message changes even from the second person. It doesn't go far because you tell somebody something, this person, the message gets distorted based on you know, their own life experiences, based on different factors, based on distractions that may be going on in their heads. And then, <clears throat> 
they twist it and say something else to the next person. That person too, based on their own perception of the message, you know, how they've interpreted it, they change the message and say something else to the next person. And everyone on that line, based on their own personal experiences and different things going on, the message gets distorted. And by the time it gets to the last person, it's a different message entirely. And you're like, how did this happen? What just happened here? That's the way life is. You may tell somebody, oh, you're my best friend. I'm only telling you this because you're my best friend. And they say, oh, sure, definitely. It's not going to go out of here. Nobody's going to know about it. Nobody's, trust me, trust me. And this person you consider to be your best friend may have their own best friend. You may not even be considered as their best friend, but you feel they are your best friend, but they may have their own best friend. And then what you've said gets repeated to their own best friend. It may, be, it may get distorted. And you say, oh, I'm only telling you this because you are my best friend. Please don't tell anyone. That one says, oh, sure, definitely. Before you know it, that one also may have their own best friend. You know, that's life. And it may get, it just be repeated in, you know, to a group. And before you know it, your secret is no longer a secret. It may not even be a secret, but just the fact that you confided in someone and you said, I'm only confiding in you. That's enough not to spread it. But trust has been broken along the way. Trust has been broken along the way. You know, I used to be growing up, I used to be somebody who, you know, I found it so easy to trust. I'm not, I don't know why. I just, if, if, if when I was told anything, I took it literally as you told me. You know, I never doubted people. I never thought people would come and lie and say, you know, give me false information. I don't know why. I just grew up trusting everyone, no matter big, small, because I felt that anything I said, that's the way it was, it was the truth. So I didn't think people would come and tell me, give me false information or mislead me and things like that. But with time, an experience, trust got broken. I realized that, wow, why did they say that when that's not what they were going to do? Or, you know, people going behind you and saying things that are false. And I'm like, what? When did that happen? <laughs> so with time and experience, I began to realize that, wow, so people can be, they can say one thing and actually do something else behind you. It took me time. I'm like, what? Why? Why did they have to do that? Or why did they say that? I don't know why, but I was just that, should I say naive or is it innocent? Or I don't know what, what describe that kind of situation, but that was me growing up, I trusted. I found, it, I found it so easy to just trust people. I never doubted them. But with time, different, you know, things that have happened. I'm like, wow, one needs to be wary. You need to be, one needs to be careful because you just never know. You may say something and it's misinterpreted by the other person and they may not tell you that they are hurt they get hurt and all of that. And then they go back to other people and say something you didn't even say or mean. And those people misinterpret it. And before you know it, it gets back to you. And you, you, you now look like the bad person. I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> this is why communication is important. As a life relationship and marriage coach, I'm a great advocate for communication. When you communicate, when you hear things, 
and you're not sure, it's always good to go back to the person and ask, have you know, a civilized conversation and say, oh, I heard this, or whatever way you want to approach this situation, discuss. It's always good to have mature discussions, okay? And then things are easily resolved that way. Otherwise, when you keep doing things based on hearsay, that's not the best thing at all. It's not the best because relationships get ruined that way. So this year, 2021, let's be wise. Let's respect relationships that we have. If, if it's with your spouse, your friends, siblings, family, you know, whoever, relationships have to be respected. Let's have that mutual um, respect for one another, okay? Build trust, let people trust, make it easy and possible for people to trust you, all right? The plans you have, with whoever it is you have, you may have the plans with your spouse, friends, keep those plans that way. Respect the person who has told you or given you these plans, all right? It's very important. As a, as a relationship coach, I see this often as a deal breaker, all right? So it's important to understand these things so that we can nurture and thrive in our relationships. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you have taken away one or two things from my message today. Do leave a comment for me. Let me know what you have taken away. What has impacted you from this message today? And give me any of your experiences. Have you experienced anything like this yourself? How did you resolve it? I would like to know because we learn from one another. Nobody is an island. Nobody has all the knowledge. What I have is what I've been able to share with you on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing because I come in here often to share different relationship issues and how to resolve them. I would like you to be part of my um, family on YouTube. Also, I have a website. It is called gloriousglowempowerment.com on my website. You can contact me on there. I have a button for contacting me and I'll be able to see your message directly. It comes to me directly. I'll um, get back to you once I get your message. I also have on my website a free 30 minutes consultation, okay? I coach people, whether you're single or married, okay? I coach you because some singles wonder why what's limiting me what are the limitations in my life why is it difficult for me to have a um, relationship or why is it difficult for my relationship to last and they, they can't put a finger to it they're not sure what the problem is so what i do is i do a deep dive with you to find out and remove what the limitations and I'd identify what the limitations are and what can be done to help you move on to the next step of your life. Even married couples, I work with you to resolve conflict that may arise that may be stopping you from having a thriving relationship. So on my website, you'll find the various links to contact me and you can also book the free 30 minutes consultation. It'd be great to have it, it'd be great to have a chat with you. Thank you once again for watching. Thanks for being in this family. If you haven't subscribed, like I said earlier, subscribe. Okay, and do share my videos as well. I would appreciate that. And also press the notification bell so that whenever I upload my videos, you will be first to be notified. Till I come your way again, do take care and have an awesome week. Bye.